A Hamilton City Councilor says more time is needed to determine the future of Wild Waterworks. City Councilors voted to take some extra time until December to explore some options for the 40-year-old water park. According to a staff report, it is expected to cost millions to keep the park open. Manisa Danabalan joins us live in studio with more millions. That is that's a lot of money, Manisa. Taz, that's right. Ward 5 City Councilor Matt Francis, who actually put forward the motion to defer the decision, says there's been a lot of plans and information over the years that the city needs to go through to come to a solution. Francis says the options include a public-private partnership where some, someone will take over, replace everything in the park for $26 million, and completely revamping and upgrading the park, which could cost anywhere from $30 million to $60 million. Francis is also says there's a do-nothing option, which could mean the park fails in a few years. But he says the park is a huge asset for the kids in the community. In the meantime, I'm going to sit down with staff and come up with a plan to see if we can get support in a committee for a public-private partnership. Is there somebody that's out there that wants to take this on as an opportunity and, and revitalize this, this area? And, and I might add, though, it is a vibrant area. You come down here on a hot summer day, it's lined up all the way down the street. I'm a season pass holder here. My kids love coming down here. Um, the visitors, I mean, there's 100,000 visitors here uh, each and every year. Francis adds that there's been quite a few meetings over the years about the future of this park, and it's important to note that every single meeting, everyone wanted a park. Back to you.